<laughs> Good morning, my lovelies. This is Jacob coming straight from that spike of star. AKA the message of was always our message for you, but it's up to you to discern what Miss Jacob is trying to say. Remember, I'm just the outsider looking into your world, seeing things that you do not see, okay? But I hope this video don't cut off. I guess the name of this is called um, Real Talk Chronicles. Um, stop, chasing, stop chasing. It's a psychological mind thing. Let me just say this, right? Um, I hope this video don't cut off. Let me just say, like, Facebook really blocked me again. And it's so crazy because it was right after I posted my video um, called... Um, sushi salad i had made a sushi salad with raw fish and let me just say this if you believe in the jab okay and, and, and all this other stuff the impossible burger that bill gates then had his hands on and in okay and that's pretty you can eat a raw fish it's not that serious okay it's not that deep but anyway people miss the whole concept of um protein and nutrients and different type of things your body needs to sustain okay so let me just say this right um I kind of like tallied up everything because I'm sitting up here trying to think like it was all good just a week ago. Like what, where did it go wrong at, right? So, okay, so we all know when Will Smith went on a stage and slapped Chris Rock, you know, the world went bananas. It was like, oh, you know, he did that to a brother, a black brother, and why can't black people get along, and this, that, and third, well, and fifth. like, it was just crazy, like, the world just went bananas, so while the world was so distracted with all these psyops from, and mind you, Chris Rock and Will Smith are cloned, or they artificially made people, they're cloned, okay, so while the world is going bananas over fake people and things that they see on TV, okay, we're being ambushed, like the real stuff is popping off, okay, it's, it's popping off, it's going down, so the human race been ambushed with, with the food, they took all the food off all the real stuff, okay, because it's a difference with um, processed food and artificially made food, now processed food, I can deal with that, okay, I can deal with the processed food, because food been processed, okay, but artificially made food, which means this is a piece of, say like this bagel right here. See this bagel? They'll take cells and cells and stuff from this bagel in a lab to create another bagel just like this. And it's the same thing with the meat and the chicken. They'll take cells, DNA samples and cells from that meat to create another meat in a lab, in a science lab. Okay, so that's artificial. Okay, that's fake food and synthetic is not real. Okay, there's no protein in that you did what i'm saying and everybody is chasing okay like you don't smell it has a different type of smell like we was all taught senses okay it's five senses you smell you feel you taste you smell you see okay you hear okay you can't smell this stuff you can't taste this stuff okay it stink it don't smell right and it don't taste right Okay, so people is chasing after, because I too was like that, and I had spent a lot of money, okay, on items, but I did something negative and turned it into something positive. Instead of looking at it from a negative view of I wasted my money, okay, on these items, I turned it into a positive view that it was just showing me, okay, what I can and cannot buy Okay, no longer, no more. There's no more taste in that, okay? So I'm chasing after that taste. It's just like a drug addict, okay? Before they became a drug addict and hooked, they did their first hit, okay? They first hit. And after that first hit, they, they was in the land of whatever, okay? And after that, they chasing. They looking for that high that they'll never get again. And that's with the food as well. We looking, we chasing after that taste. We'll never get again. It's a certain type of taste each individual, okay, expects from what they perceive as food, okay, what, what, what it means to them. Some people look at food as collard greens, greasy ass food, high cholesterol food, like, 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 uh, fried chicken, 
baked macaroni and cheese, 10 different seasoned salts. First of all, one seasoned salt have uh, 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 have salt in it. Why is there a need for a human being to use seasoned salt, adobo salt, regular salt, like 10 different types of salts? And this is why people are sick with a whole bunch of health problems because they're not eating right. They're not eating right. You're using 10 different things of, of, of salt. And not only that, when you're using, when you're frying your chicken, you got to use a whole, you got to use a fifth of olive oil and, 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 and Wesson's oil. It's too greasy. And then turn around and, and, and use a uh, 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 butter. That's just too much. Like I sat there and I watched somebody, bro. Like I watched somebody put butter in a pan. I well, actually was one of my brothers. He put butter in a pan to make some ground beef. I'm like, ground beef make its own beef. Why are you using butter in a pan, butter, using more oil on top of oil on top of oil? That's just too much. That's just too much. But to them, that is what food is. And another thing is you are what you eat. If you, and let me just say this, a pig is the most disgusting and nastiest thing you can ever put into your body is a pig. Okay? Pork. Because they too, they eat their feces. But yet and still, y'all scared of a, 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 a raw fish? <laughs> Y'all scared of y'all scared of the natural resources, but you will eat a you eat a pork that eats its own feces, and y'all feeding your consciousness, your consciousness and your soul and your spirit is garbage, and you wonder why you can't prosper, and you wonder why you're sick all the time, and you wonder why people be dying because you're not eating right and you're not taking care of yourself. Health is wealth. You are what you eat. You are what you consume. You gotta watch what you consume. Okay, but a lot of people is chasing and food is a psychological thing with food. Okay, because when you chasing after something, they got you used to a certain type of taste that that's embedded into your mind, your own personal mind. And they turned around and they took it from you while you was distracted by uh, Will Smith, by clone dick in the booty Hollywood actors. Okay, while you was distracted by that going bananas over them, okay, they ambushed you, took the real food, and a lot of farmers and everybody bought out. They sold their souls, okay? So everybody bought out, everybody sold out. They ambushed the human race, took all the, the real food off, and put the garbage food on the shelf. And guys, it's eating it like his finger licking good. Like his finger licking good. I can't believe this. It's like, when is people going to wake up? Like, every time I talk to somebody, I know they talk about they sick. They sick. They have the stomach virus. And I'm just sitting there laughing in a way because you put garbage into your body. Like, what you did? You think you're not going to get sick? Look at the toxins and all this other stuff. But you can't say nothing to people because the pride of man will be the destruction of man. You got some people, like a lot of people out here, they know so much that they just can't be taught. They can't be taught. They can't be taught. They know so much and they can't be taught. But let me tell you something, a lot of people is not going to make it. You know, and they're not going to make it because I, because not because of what I say, it's because of their thought process and their mindset. You got to change your mindset and get out of that. You were programmed by the system to believe this is what this is, this is a reality to you. When come to find out, you boo-boo the food. That was never a reality. That's just what they fed to you. They spoon fed you that. So a lot of people is just not going to make it because of their mindset. You got to change. In order for you to come out on top and be blessed properly, your mind got to be renewed. The renewal of your mind. Okay? You got to change your whole mindset about this whole food thing because you're chasing. I sat there and I watched this dude. I forgot his name. Eric something. I forgot his name. But um, he's on my Facebook page. And he's sitting there. He was chasing. Him, him and his family was in the park having a shish kebab. And it was crazy because... He don't see, he don't smell that. And, and, and the onions, the onions is worse. The onions is even worse. He had everything on that shish kebab chasing for that. That, that shish kebab that he cooked a few days ago is not the same type of shish kebab that he ate eight months ago. It's a whole different type of shish kebab. And he's just sitting there chasing after that taste. And I'm like, look at him, he looked bad. He looked bad expecting that taste. He expecting this shish kebab. He expecting this and he expecting that. But child, you're not getting that in the store. What you, what you used to and what they selling in the store is not the same thing. You need to change your mindset if you're trying to come out on top. 
okay because a lot of people and if they like this if they program like this i can imagine when they shut the internet down and when everything gets shut down like i can imagine i can imagine I can just imagine, but you, but people should be already saying something. You shouldn't wait till they shut the internet off just to say something. They playing with your food. See, I can, I can eat leaves outside. Like I, I can, I can adapt to that. Y'all can't because y'all programmed to how the Europeans trained you to think what food really is. Anything could be food. Some people wake up with a blunt in the mouth. That's their food. A drug addict wake up. Uh, 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 smoking crack or shooting they, 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 they first, they first, they first, they first dose of heroin. That's their food. Some people wake up drinking that vodka or that honey. That's their food. Some people wake up and just do this goofy stuff. That's their food. So it's what food really means to you, but it's a psychological mind thing. And anything you eat and you put into your body, you're supposed to gain and prosper from that. If you're not gaining and prospering from it, then you need to just stop eating it. And a lot of times it depends on the things that you listen to and the people that you listen to as well as food. Okay? Right on down to the pastors, the rabbis, people in the streets, your friends, your family, people on a job, the boss on a job. You got to be careful of these things that you consume as food. The wisdom that you intake from other people. Okay? Can be considered a form of food as well. And remember, if a person is not walking what they're talking, them not to be the people to listen to, okay? I have an exit plan and a destination, okay? Trust and believe me. I'm going somewhere. But you got to know how to move, okay? Got to know how to move and come from out of that mindset, okay? Because a lot of people is losing out here. Is losing. And the sad part about it is they the captain of their own ship. And then they got the nerve to be worrying about me. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. You can't do what I can do. You can't do what I can do. I can sacrifice it all and still gain and pop to the top. Because I don't care about materialism. You know, I had watched a young man called Money, Money, um, Money Motivators. I think it was Money Motivators. And he was saying the things that people do to keep up with materialism, the, the things people do for clout and the pe things people do, people selling their souls for a job, people selling their souls for materialism, cars, jewelry, this, the lack of morality itself is, is, is done with the human race. The human race is done. It's a done deal. A lot of people, it's, it's a done deal. It's a, it's a done deal. It's a wrap. It's finished. It's finished. Stop chasing because it's gone. It's not coming back. That taste that you expect from that food, listen, you'll never get it again. Okay? Stop chasing. You ain't going to do nothing but get pissed off. <laughs> you're going to get aggravated. You're going to get pissed off. You're going to get frustrated. Listen, <laughs> wise enough. I'm about to be off this because I don't want this video to cut off. But this Real Talk Chronicles got to change your mindset. Okay? on what food is. You got healthy food and you got unhealthy food. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die the healthy way rather than the unhealthy way. Okay? Trust and believe me. Alright? And dig this here. If you can believe anything that the media tell you and you believe in a jab, which is the worst poison of it all because it got abortion fetuses and all this different type of garbage that's in this poison. If you can believe in, the, in this right here, okay, that poison that everybody took to keep their job, you can eat a raw fish right from the river. You can eat a raw fish. Mm -hmm. You can eat a raw fish and you can eat leaves off the, uh, off the tree. Yeah, you sure can. You can eat off the land. If you can believe in that, you can definitely eat off the land. Definitely. But anywho, I'm about to be off this. Hey, listen. I ain't trying to be funny. I'm just speaking from another avenue. Like I said, I'm looking into your world, seeing things that you do not see. But anywho, this is Miss Jacob, the messenger. That's Spike a star. I'm ghost. <laughs>